Okay. We got phoned uh, this morning about um, half eleven. Um, fire brigade investigators were here, uh, so I came straight down to the shop. Um, we'd seen uh, what's happened, and obviously we've got photographs of it. And it's a pretty frightening one because sometimes people stay over in the premises when there's, they're there for actions or so forth. And if someone had been trapped in, in the building, which is a very old and dangerous structure, it would have been lethal. Um, so, yeah, there, there is that element of, 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 of very great concern. We're obviously incredibly pleased that no one's hurt, but uh, it's also caused a huge amount of damage and uh, disruption to not only the shop, but the work of the organisations uh, hap uh, happening here, the London Coalition Against Poverty, the Solidarity Federation, the advisory service, the squatters and Corporate Watch, uh, all of whom uh, have got important things to do which they can't because the electrics are all burnt out and uh, it's, um, yeah, uh, been a bit of a, a, a shock. Freedom Press uh, was started as a paper in 1886 by Charlotte Wilson and Peter Kropotkin as the oldest uh, anarchist paper in, in, in the UK. Uh, in addition to that, we've been a publisher since the, the late 19th century of a large number of books and pamphlets, uh, which are available online, he said, on our website. Uh, despite the damage caused um, today, we've still got a, a stock of those things, so they're still available and we'll, we'll still keep going with, with selling them. Um, we also um, have, a, have a shot, host uh, a lot of meetings for various anarchist groups. We're a resource for the anarchist movement and uh, for other radical and um, protest groups. So why would, why would someone attack your shop or who, who, would, who would attack your shop? Well, the, we, we can't say at the moment, and, uh, uh, but the obvious suspicion is that the far right, who we've obviously campaigned against for many, many years, who indeed attacked the shop in 1993 and, and, and set fire to it, and um, so that is where we would think the suspicion lies. Well, what are you going to do now? We're going to clean up. We're going to have a clean up day tomorrow. Uh, we're going to have uh, people in to you know, sort out the, the mess that's, that's there. Hopefully we'll be able to be up and running again by Monday uh, so that um, the offices of Barbican can be working and, and we can have people in the, in the shop. Because we're not just a shop, we're, if you like, we're a drop-in centre for our community and people in, in struggle. We provide legal advice through the Squatters Legal Network, uh, the Anarchist Black Cross and uh, in general protest defence uh, law, law dropping so those things will carry on and um, we, we're not uh, it's a very upsetting thing to hand but we, it's something that we are going to, to, to build on and we will we will continue to do the work that we do and we will do it in a bigger and, and more constructive way we think and we would appreciate very much the support that we've received from people in the radical community uh, not just the, the anarchist movement uh, and everything that they've done to support. We welcome that and, um, and encourage them to get involved in the ongoing work that, that needs to be done to challenge uh, the state and capital in, in every way.